Colleges and universities may have to fight harder to recruit students. Yeah, we are taking a closer look at new numbers here showing not as many students are applying for higher education. So here's what that research shows. Enrollment during the pandemic dropped more than 2%. You could see each year there from the previous year in 2020 and 2021 that cost colleges in America almost a million students since 2019. Today we are learning from leaders in education. This trend could continue for years to come. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Esquiva learned how Winthrop University is seeking solutions tonight. Fall of 2022 could have been Winthrop's largest new enrollment class on record had it not been for the pandemic. But today we're learning there's another issue that could make student enrollment a problem for years to come. There are several colleges that are, are, are collapsing because of the decline in enrollment and their incapacity to, to continue to, to serve the core of their enterprise. Joseph Miller is vice president of enrollment management at Winthrop University. He says a declining birth rate in America means fewer students enrolling in college. With that population rate not being able to be replaced with new babies being born or immigration policies of more uh, more people coming into the country, that means that absolutely there's going to be fewer students. According to the Hetchinger Report, economists predict between 2025 and 2029, the population of college students will drop by 15 percent and will continue to decline after that. Now, fortunately, in South Carolina, we're one of only a few states that's going to see a projected increase over the next decade, but only by a margin of about 1%. Steep competition for those students means Winthrop University is already seeking solutions. For one, it's making sure the programs it offers meet marketplace and student demand. Winthrop also partnered with York Tech Community College, creating a bridge for students in the two-year college to get a four-year degree at Winthrop. Every school is going to be going after a very limited number of students. And another thing Winthrop is trying during the pandemic, it made tests like the ACT optional. And if data shows those students are still doing well, well, that program could become permanent. In Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.